I went to the local mall the other day. Yeah. I remember when that thing was built good 20 years ago. Yeah, I do too. That whole area wasn't developed, and now it's super developed. Restaurants and hotels and car dealerships along the entire area. Mm Mm-hmm. But the mall itself is not aged quite so well. Yeah, not really. Well, when it first came out, it was a, a huge communal area. Everyone visited that mall. Yeah. I remember trying to go see a movie in the cinema in the mall, but we went to go see the movie in the winter around Christmas time, and we had to drive around for 20 minutes trying to find a parking spot because there were just so many people there. Yeah. It was so busy. I remember Dave and I used to go to the arcade every Wednesday because they had $7. You play any games you want for an hour. Oh, man, I missed the arcade that was there. It was so good. And we'd go there every Wednesday, play the arcade games for an entire hour. And on our way out, the local pretzel stores would be getting rid of their excess food for cheap. So we'd get soft pretzels for a dollar. It was a great evening. I remember going to that mall with you. I remember going to that mall and playing Dance Dance Re- No, 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 it was Pump It Up. It was the Korean version. Yes. It was the Korean version, Pump It Up, which is harder because it has five pedals instead of four. And it's more comfortable because it's got diagonals instead of up and down. Yeah. I remember going there and playing Time Crisis. Yeah. And Crisis Zone. There's a difference between the two. Crisis Zone is the one where you have the fully automatic gun and the riot shield, and then Time Crisis is the one where you have a bunch of different guns, but you start out with just a pistol. Mm -hmm. And they had House of the Dead, Punching Game. Yep. Good times. There were other stores there. We'd go there occasionally, like the anime store. You'd go buy figurines and manga. I remember that. That was a fun place. There was the media store, video games and DVDs like crazy, posters and paraphernalia. So many different stores. It was a very big mall. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend at the time worked at that mall. So when I went to see her, I would take some time to walk around the mall, do some people watching, step at a bookstore, the GameStop. It was a very entertaining place. Yeah, there really isn't a whole lot of stuff there anymore. The anchor stores are gone now. You can peer in the window and there is nothing. It's very odd. It's just empty. There's still clothing stores here and there, but all the interesting places are gone. The media store doesn't sell any video games anymore. No, they basically sell DVDs and Blu-ray, and that's it. And, like, CDs. And their selection is so slim. They used to have rows and rows of shelving full of used DVDs. There used to be a whole section dedicated to hentai An entire hentai section inside your local mall. And it's just gone now. It's really weird going back to places that you grew up in and seeing how much everything has changed and how different things have become. And sometimes it's not for the better. I used to go visit my girlfriend in the mall, like I said. Mm -hmm. She'd be working at the clothing store. And uh, I'd bring her a treat, a cookie or something. And I'd go in and I'd say, hey, is so-and-so working today? And they'd say, oh, yeah, she's in the back. So I'd walk into the back. Do it! <laughs> She'd turn to me and go, What are you doing here? And I'd go, Brought your cookie. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> she was often mad at me for silly things like that. Well, yeah, you kind of just walked directly into the back. You're not really supposed to do that. Apparently not. How was I to know? I didn't work there. I, it's just kind of a generally <laughs> accepted... You never worked in retail, did you? No. Uh, yeah, that would explain it. Speaking of places you you might feel nostalgic about you know when my mother lost her house you know, that my childhood home mm-hmm. now i didn't really feel too much about it because for the last few years i had been living in the basement of that house yeah with all the earwigs and stuff yes so i had already started my process of moving out so i wasn't too bummed to hear that she was losing the house but that was my childhood home there's a lot of memories tied up in that place I still remember the long basement we had. We used to play Play-Doh and make long Hot Wheels tracks. Play... It was quite a long basement, wasn't it? Yeah, we played Super Smash Brothers on that old CRTV. Had all these board games down there. That was a kid's paradise down there. And even the upstairs, you know. we uh, I still remember before we had Central Air, my mom would bolt a bed sheet to the, the door frame. So the air conditioning from the living room would stay in the living room. Our bedrooms are always super hot, but Ugh. that little air conditioner couldn't cool off the entire house. 
I remember when I, I went to a week long summer camp. I mean, it's not really a summer camp if it's only a week long, right? But mm. you know, whatever. While I was at summer camp, my family was getting air conditioning installed in their house. I had a lot of fun at summer camp, but by the end of it, I was tired. I wanted to sleep in my own bed. You know, my family comes to pick me up. Did you have a fun time at summer camp, Zach? Yeah, I had a fun time. It was great. It was great. I had a fun time. <laughs> Bet you're really tired. Yep, I'm really tired. Bet you really want to sleep in your own bed, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to get home and sleep in my own bed. Cool. Well, we're going camping. <laughs> Air conditioning wasn't done being installed yet. Air conditioning was done being installed, but for some reason we decided to go camping. Oh, marvelous. Was, I almost fell asleep making a marshmallow in front of the fire, and I almost fell into the fire. <laughs> little Zach is so cute with the second degree burns on his face. Oh, little Zach. Yeah, I was just like holding a, holding a marshmallow on a stick, just, just falling asleep with it. I kind of miss that house. That we used to have a pretty big backyard too. My dad made a, a big old sandbox, and yeah, I bet you if we went back there, we could still probably dig up the Power Rangers figurines that kept on getting buried there. Oh, there was a tree planted every, for for all three of us once we were born, and combined that with the big tree that was already back there, there was four trees where we would play baseball. Each of those trees was the one of the bases. Neat. Now we used to play hide and go seek, and uh, I remember my dad had this really great trick where he would hide in the closet but he would spider-man his way up there mm. and uh put the put his arms and legs against the wall and just kind of hold himself in the ceiling of the closet none of us could ever find him it was ingenious that sounds like it would be a lot of work but also a very good way to hide for an extended period of time from children yes it worked like a charm <laughs> I remember my mother always wanted me to go outside in the summertime, but I didn't want to go outside. I wanted to stay inside and watch TV, but she wouldn't let me watch TV in the family room. She'd catch me, so I'd sneak into her bedroom and use the tiny TV she had in her bedroom, <laughs> and I would hide on the side of the bed opposite the doorway. So if I heard her open the door, I could roll underneath the bed, and she'd be like, hmm, TV's hmm. on in here. She never found me. She knew what you were doing. She may have. She probably assumed that I had turned on the TV and left it and walked away. She did catch me one time, though. She kept on trying to make me eat a strawberry. And then when her back was turned, I shoved it into our ventilation system. Oh, God. She caught me that time. <laughs> she was not happy about that. Goodness. <laughs> and that driveway was being put in when I was being born. So my tiny little baby footprint was in that driveway who knows if it's still there you know, it might be 35 years later they may have torn up it's not it's not our house anymore got lost during the financial crisis kind of destroyed the family but uh hooray yeah thanks finances everybody loves it when their house gets foreclosed upon thus began the long process of me trying to support my family financially yeah it's, it's fine it's yeah. fine Put it's that great. kind of stress on a teenager it's yeah cool. yeah so much fun Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. I went to VA. Actually, I went to VA the other day. The reason I had to go to VA is, as you can see here, I have this giant boil on the side of my finger. It's a big old, it's a big old blister thingy. Cyst? I don't know. It's a thing on the side of my finger. You have a, a mysterious growth. Yeah, it's a weird growth on the side of my finger. And I had it for about a year. It didn't hurt, so I didn't really think anything of it. I was just like, well, I guess I just have this weird growth on my finger. Oh, well. As Americans, you get conditioned to ignoring your own health problems. Yeah. If you're American and you're having a medical problem, you just hope that it's not painful and ignore it. If you're lucky enough to have health insurance through your employer, then maybe you go see a doctor. In the last week, the cyst or whatever it is on the side of my finger has started to really hurt. It's gotten a lot bigger. It's pretty painful, actually. Sometimes, like, if I bump it against something, it shoots pain all the way up my wrist to, like, halfway up my forearm. So we are now out of the preventative care phase, and now we are seeking active treatment for a malignant problem. Yes. So I went to the doctor. I said, please do something about this. And they went, we have to send you to a hand surgeon. I'm not qualified to handle growths on hands. Ew, that's disgusting. I don't want to see that. Get that out of here. Oh, my God. That actually sounds like something an American doctor would say. <laughs> this patient's sick. I didn't want this one. Next. Next. Find me a hot one this time. He wouldn't do anything with it because it's right next to the knuckle on my index finger. 
here at the VA hospital, we don't have a hand surgeon. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to send you to the nearest hand surgeon, which is three hours away. No, I'm not going to that one. I'm not, I'm not driving three hours because I'll get out there. He'll look at it and go, hmm, yep, that definitely is going to have to be removed. But I'm not going to do anything about it right now. Come back in three months. Yeah, that sounds about right. So then I'm going to drive all the way back for nothing. Well, not for nothing. You will eventually have it removed. Eventually, in three months, when it has crawled all the way up my arm and gone into my brain and turned me into cyst man <laughs> with all the abilities of a cyst. I can leak pus at will. Your other option is to continue doing nothing. Or do surgery at home with a scalpel that I found in the dumpster out back behind the medical facility. Zach, please don't. It does, it does kind of make me wish that barber surgeons were still a thing, so you could go there and be like, yeah, I need to shave and also excise this thing on my finger. Oh, that was a thing back in the olden days, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Barber surgeons. That's why the, that's why the barber pole is, is white, blue, and red. I'm assuming red represents the medical thing. Is blue the barber hit thing? I have no idea. I don't know. I just remember hearing that somewhere. Uh, I heard this on the top of a Snapple cap and now we're repeating like it's No, facts. I just keep repeating it. I mean, it sounds right, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. You've, you've been having a fun time looking for health insurance. Oh, I sure am. Yeah, when you're not getting health insurance through your employer, oh, then you get to go to the marketplace. Oh, boy. Look at all these expensive plans. Hundreds of dollars. Don't cover vision. Don't cover dental. Oh, I still don't get dental. Oh, no, you still have to do your own teeth work? Yeah, I still don't get dental. I have full health insurance through VA, but you can only get dental if you're 100% disabled. Isn't it great how teeth and eyes and ear bones don't count as parts yeah, of your body? Yeah, things, these things that are incredibly important and actually can have a major impact on the rest of your mental and physical health. Boy, it sure is great that those aren't covered by anything. No, I had a cavity at one point. So I went to VA and they have a dental clinic. I went down there and I was like, hey, I, I don't know if I'm covered or not, but can I see a dentist down here? No, dental is only covered if you're 100% disabled. What? You only get dental insurance through VA if you're 100% disabled, which is a bummer because we've got a really nice clinic down here, but nobody ever comes down here. Okay, fine. Well, can I just pay you out of pocket? Probably, but it's probably going to cost you. Nope. No. You cannot even go into the dental clinic unless you are 100% disabled. Wow. You can't even pay out of pocket for it. Wow. They won't even do cleanings. You're going to have to buy a dental plan. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to just pay for it. This is so disturbing to me. But what I've heard is that if you have to get serious dental work done, go to a dental college. Oh and yeah. And have students practice on you. Mhm. Mm because they have an actual dentist supervising them the entire time. So hopefully they don't screw up and accidentally rip out the wrong tooth. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you get dental work done for very cheap. So I'm probably going to have to just go to a, find a dental college near me for that because my teeth are fucking garbage. I, I grind my teeth like crazy when I sleep. Yeah, you do. There's nothing I can do about it. What about bite splints? The problem is the bite splints that you buy at the store are crap. And they just either fall out of your mouth or you chew through them in one night. Maybe you should get stronger bite splints. Yeah, guess where you have to go to get stronger bite splints? Mm. A dentist. Hmm. Guess how much bite splints usually cost? Lots and lots of money. I really enjoy the dentist that I go to. The practice has an annual day of free dentistry. If you have a problem with your teeth... You've mentioned this to me before. Yeah, if you have a problem, come on in. We'll get one cavity filled in or give you a tooth cleaning, and it'll be free. This is on us. This is something we're doing for the community. That's really nice of them. You have to be there at like 4 a.m. because otherwise the line is packed. I... So yeah, how is, how is your, your search for health insurance going? I didn't actually end up buying health insurance yet. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I'd have to budget several hundred dollars a month to get one. So I mean, now I have to figure out a financial plan. Or, alternatively, they just send it to a debt collector and then send debt collectors after you, like they did with me. Oh, how is it being hounded by debt collectors? Have they been able to chase you down to Virginia and back? They are some of the worst people I have ever heard from in my entire life. Hmm. Absolutely monstrous people. I, I, I used to be super fucking poor, and I had debt collectors calling me two to four times a day. Well, it, it's amazing you called. See, I didn't have money the first three times you called, but now I bought a hot dog, so I'm even poorer. Go away. Yeah, leave me alone, please. Uh, so you may remember when I got carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh, that was not too long ago. Well, I went to the emergency room. Um, I regret going to the emergency room. I shouldn't have gone. 
Oh, uh, no? When you go to the emergency room, they do a blood test that tells them that you have carbon monoxide poisoning, which is the same thing you told them when you arrived there. Mm-hmm. And then they put you in a bed and hook you up to oxygen for three hours. They charge you $1,200. When I went there, I was like, oh, VA's going to cover it. Mm -hmm. Well, they sent the bill to VA initially. And VA went, uh, no, he didn't tell us about this. So, no, we're not paying it. So, they sent the bill to me instead. And this was several months after it had happened. They sent the bill to me. And by this time, it had, the bill had been out for so long that it just went into collections. Oh, so I had debt collectors now calling me, insisting that I pay for this bill. About this debt you didn't even know you had. About this debt that I had no idea existed. <laughs> there was a $600 bill for having a blood test done. And then there was another $600 bill for staying in a bed for three hours. Oh, yes. Those fucking destroyed my credit. Which then meant that I couldn't buy a house later. How is it renting right now for $1,100 a month? I, I actually like the apartment where sta I'm staying in, but I, I'm increasingly convinced that I will never own a home. Not if you're just pissing money into a hole that is rent. Yeah, it's really infuriating. But yeah, medical bills. Hopefully I don't have any more. I probably will have another one because I'm sure they will send me to a hand surgeon, and then that hand surgeon will charge me for something because VA will go, We don't know who that is. We've never sent you there. Sorry, uh, we have to send you to a knuckle specialist. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if this blister thing on my finger is ever going to get taken care of. We'll see if they take care of it before you have to amputate the finger. Yeah, that'd be nice. I really don't want to lose my trigger finger, but I probably will. <laughs> there you go. There's some gun control for America. Yeah. The crime and murder rates would go down substantially if people just had health care. Yes. If people weren't fucking desperate all the time, crime would go down. I 100% believe that. There are some other reasons why I vehemently detest the American healthcare system. Mm -hmm. They're just very painful, and I don't want to talk about them right now. They That's have understandable. taken loved ones from me because they couldn't get the help they needed. And then they'd get the bill that they couldn't pay because they were dead. All I want is just to be happy, and I want to be able to have a nice, quiet life where I'm just left alone. And it seems like a lot of the people in power are determined to not allow that to happen. <sighs> it's very disappointing. Mm-hmm.